the match. Tiger Woods, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Phil Mickelson. Uh, I will tell you this. That was the most entertaining round of golf I have watched in years. Having them mic'd up, having them where Charles Barkley could talk to them and whatnot. Uh, everything that happened with that, Peyton Manning drove the show. Well, drove Peyton's, the whole thing. Peyton's just unbelievably just funny, oh, entertaining. I, I tweeted Everything's great. It. <laughs> Michael said Brady sucks at something. Obviously, you didn't watch the the last thirteen holes because this man was on fire. People on who was fire. criticizing Brady, I'm hang on. Give me give me two minutes to defend my boy for a minute. All right, all right go ahead. That was Michael, by there, the way. There is not a soul on the planet that's not a professional golfer that could play in those conditions. Never played on live TV or, or played college golf or anything like that. You're just a rando golfer that you do something else for a living and say, we're going to put you here. 5.8 million people are going to be watching you. They're trying to raise money. You're joking. Around. You got mics all over you. It's pouring down rain. You played a whole 18 holes earlier that day. Nobody would have started off well as a normal person. Agreed. Nobody. Now, Peyton did pretty well for the, for the front nine. The back nine, Peyton wasn't real good either. So, no. uh, Ben said, I've never seen one person wear so many hats in four hours. It, yeah. Yeah, Peyton, I commented on that in our group text. Every yeah. time I turned around, Peyton was had a different hat on. I was like, but they weren't even like sponsorship hats. It was just like a state of Tennessee hat, a NOLA hat. I'm like, you don't even see a brand on there. He just. No, he, he was just shouting out his people. I just wonder if that big head of his just stretches him out. That's a bark. Terry said Barkley was great. Wish I could gamble like him. And here comes Chris with the Homer take. Like, no, no, I'm just defending my guy. That's no, I, I completely agree. And I don't like either one of them. Uh, I said, like I tweeted out during this thing. I said, look, like ESPN, if they paid Peyton Manning $30 million to do Monday Night Football, I don't think it would be enough. No, that guy enough. Enough. is un friggin believe He is the, he was the most entertaining part of the entire day. He doesn't. He, like, what what Peyton needs is he needs he needs mash money. Okay, he needs sitcom TV money. We need the Mannings to have a sitcom. I'm not a writer. I don't know how to do that. But anybody out there in TV land that knows how to do that, you would be a fool to not get Archie, Mama Manning, bring Cooper in there. We got to have somebody to make fun of. Like he, all of them, they are unbelievable on camera. Uh, Michael... You just print cash. That's hundreds of millions of dollars. It's not 30 Oh, 100%. Million. No, you're, you're right. You're right. Michael said, Brady did play all right. I was just giving him a hard time. Didn't mean it as a shot. It was how cool about, to see hey, him like how that. How about that shot on seven, baby? Oh, yeah. Drop uh, that one. So, so, Michael said, for a guy that plays golf quite a bit, it was entertaining to see superior athletes struggle like everybody else. Yes, I yes. agree with that. I yes. agree. It was, it was nice to see... Holy crap, they're not good at everything. I, I'm going to tell like, you this. I I am afraid to play golf with other people. You know this. Oh, I yeah, because you and I, I don't enjoy playing with other people around. I would pay four times as much if I could buy all the spots behind me to make sure nobody is allowed to tee off for like an hour after I've teed off. I don't. I just don't I don't want it anywhere around. I don't want a course. If I could afford to buy the course out, I'd do it. I'm gonna tell you this. I felt like I could play with I could play with Tom. I wouldn't be as good as Tom, but I could play with Tom. Yeah, I think I think it'd be fun. Uh, yeah. Ben said, "If you were betting, you should have bet the opposite of whatever Chuck said." Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Terry said, "I can't say nothing. I'm the same way with the Cubs." Yeah, it's a, hey, everybody's got their home. Film a boy. Everybody's Fimble. got their. Bias. I'm gonna tell you this. Phil Mickelson is an incredible golf teacher, by the way. When that chip shot where he. He explained what he was about to do, what he was trying to do, the logic behind it. He looked at the way the grass looked. And I learned more from watching this one round with yes. Phil being mic'd up than I might have ever learned in my life. I, I feel the exact same way. The exact same way. He is unbelievably entertaining. And incredibly knowledgeable. I mean, obviously, yeah. we already knew that, but some people yeah. can explain it better than others. I mean, you didn't hear that kind of stuff from Tiger. Like well, Tiger, Tiger just, just didn't know how to talk at all. Tiger is a the a, the greatest golfer we will ever see. But he, hey, and he looked no, on point. No one he? needs to put a microphone in his face ever. Well, I mean, hell, just, he didn't talk for like an hour at one point. No, well, <laughs> just, I, I'm gonna tell you this: whenever Tiger was speaking, it was when the the sound got muted because he was swearing. That's yeah. Tiger. Uh, if we talked Tiger. about that, yeah. Uh, Terry Terry said uh, that would be a great show. I uh, I love that Cooper was on Fox NFL this year. It was awesome. 
I'm yeah. telling Cooper's really good. Yeah, Cooper Cooper's, was uh, That whole family is just unbelievably talented in front of a camera. I, I would, I, we need to find somebody who knows how to write sitcoms. You got, you got free money coming your way. A hundred percent. Uh, Michael said Manning telling Brady he'd bring Foles or Belichick as his caddy and then saying he wouldn't wear Georgia colors to match Tiger was hilarious. Yes. Everything, yeah. like he had so many one liners in this, it was unbelievable. At saying that he wouldn't wear red and black to match Tiger uh, because yeah. he didn't want Kirby Smart to, to have video of it to for his social media. Yeah, yeah I, I totally understand it. Like, it, this guy, it, he's, un, he's unbelievable. He's just unreal. Yeah. Like, he's insanely no, he's, entertaining. Uh, Michael said Tiger didn't want to lose at his home course. I, I, Tiger just don't want to lose ever. Like, I don't think it well, matters. Tiger don't want to lose was. ever. That's fine. But, but Tiger also just, I don't know that he ever knows how to relax. I don't know that you would ever just hang out with him and and, and him be, ever enjoy anything. And the fact that he even has done this twice is just yeah. unbelievable because, like, you're not going to get Michael Jordan to do crap like this. No. I mean, it, it, Michael Jordan wants to kill everybody all the time. Uh, Tiger is kind of built the same way. You know, he's just not in that, that peak athletic spot that he used to be. Uh, Terry said, I mean, I, Terry brought in, uh, Chris, can we go golfing? That way you'd feel better. I hit the water hazard three times on one hole till my brother just said, pick it up and throw it to save money. Like, <laughs> Hey, I'll, I'll play golf with anybody who's terrible. Okay. We have a good time. I just believe, listen, I get more golf than them. All right. I play with my buddy Cameron. Cameron's a hell of a golfer. He's going to shoot 82. I'm going to shoot 120. Who had more fun? Who had, who got to swing more? Who played more golf? Yeah. Who paid the same amount. I play more golf than him. I, that's a fantastic way of looking at get it. My money's worth. Oh, my God. Michael said Tiger relaxed at Perkins. <laughs> so, let me tell you the best thing about this. The, the best thing about this show was the fact that Phil was able to wear shorts. That man, listen, you, y'all can say what you want about me. I'm totally secure in who I am. That man's got the best-looking legs in all of sports. There are beach volleyball player women who would kill for those legs. I swear to God, McKinnon said. I'm uh, telling you, Simone Biles wishes she had calves. Now, his like his calves are ridiculous. I mean, it's unreal. The best looking legs I have ever seen in my life. When, when you brought it up in the group chat, I was looking to see if he, like, on, on the TV, I I was getting real, real damn close. Yeah, I mean, no. right there, trying they, they to figure just, out like un, there was no doubt if well, they no, were I was allowed like, did to he, wear shorts. Does he shave wearing shorts? <laughs> Michael said Chris has a man crush on Phil's calves. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no Vince doubt. said Tom no Brady doubt. ripped his pants. Yeah, Tom definitely ripped his yeah. pants. Uh, Tom ripped his britches. That was awesome. I listen. I relate to that. I have ripped my pants playing golf before. I thought it was just a fat guy thing. It's not. Nope. Nope. It nope. just depends on the uh, on the fabric and whether or not it's raining. And Tom, Tom, Tom is more regular dude than anybody that we know that's that super famous and that super rich. And we saw that on the golf course. And 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 Peyton is is right there with him. Well, no, Peyton is b- different than regular dude. Peyton could walk into a room and take over that room no matter where it is. Oh, I, Tom yeah. doesn't have that personality, but he, I mean, he really is just normal guy yeah. outside of being stupid rich and crazy good looking and successful. He's just a dude, though. Terry said, Rips uh, his pants like everybody else trying to hit a golf. <laughs> exactly. Ball. Terry said, uh, golf is about drinking beer. He said, don't put that forehead in the camera, Gary. Almost made me drop the phone. Hey, yeah. I'm going to tell you, so, talk about drinking beer. There is, I was trying to get an over-under with the guys that I was watching this with on what was in Peyton's drink because Peyton kept carrying up that, that, that tumbler glass he had, and I'm, I would bet large sums of money there was booze in there. Oh, I'd, I'd go, I mean. 20, he was not sucking on water in a rainstorm. No, 25%, it, it had to be. It had to be. Beer. There is, there is yeah. whiskey in there. That man is keeping warm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Michael said the bomb Phil hit over the trees was amazing when he dedicated his drive to work day and then blasted off the planet. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Now, he hit it. When you say off the planet, yeah, it was it was out of regulation, but he did kill that thing. That, listen, Killed. the one where he hit the green on that par four where he drove the green, that was just <laughs> unbelievable. Ridiculous. Just took nuts. I'll tell you this, Tiger didn't have the nuts to do that. No, Tiger was trying to play smart to win. Phil well, was t- like, Tiger Screw played it. to win, and these other guys played to have a good time. And they they all want to win too. They're all crazy competitive. Yeah, but 
the only way you're going to get Tiger to do this one this time was to do it at his home course. That yeah, was home it. course and do it for charity. Bring some other guys in. No, he yeah. would have done it for the money if they did it. If they played for nine million dollars like like they did last time, he'd have done it for that. Probably so. Uh, Terry said, "I'm going with a mixed drink with rum for Peyton." Yeah, Probably maybe rum. Maybe I would, I would have thought whiskey. Yeah. I've I have people that I'm close enough to that have actually hung and partied with the Mannies. I have not. It, I, they they whiskey they dark liquor guys. 100%. They like the brown liquor. Michael said Manning's probably used to getting hammered playing rounds with Elway in Denver. No doubt. No doubt no on that. No doubt about that. At all. Let's uh let's close out today's show. Let's jump off of this topic and we'll jump into uh into this one here. 